experience the Xperia. We take a look at the Android-based Sony Xperia Tablet Z 16 gig model. Did I mention waterproof? Welcome everybody, a product review. This one, a good thing to get our hands on. It's a tablet. This is the Xperia Tablet Z from Sony. As you can see, do the unboxing now. We'll walk through the setup and some video things, a little demos and talk about a little bit. Come back at the end as we always do. First thing, a little bit excited. It's an Android based tablet. It's a 10 inch tablet from Sony. Uh, we'll talk about the unboxing because that's probably one of the things that threw me off when I first started it. Uh, what comes with it? Comes with a rapid charger, the actual plug part. Comes with a USB connector, which will work with pretty much any micro USB device. So if you already have a micro USB charger of some kind, which everyone seems to nowadays, then you're all set. The only thing in there was a stack, it's like playing cards, um, of user books and user manuals and little things. And no, you don't need all this to run the device. They're all different languages. Then there's a special offer that was hidden in the middle. Special offer, and it was in the box in between all of these packages of information sheets. So we'll look at those. Now, here's what threw me off. The only thing I did when I got this was to charge it really quick. I wanted to make sure when I did the demos and fired it up for you guys that you could see. Well, when I picked it up, I said, it's too light. So the battery must not be in it. No, I was wrong. The battery is in it. It is that light. It has HDMI ports. It has the ability to uh, do control your remote controls with IR connectivity. It's waterproof up to three feet, meaning if you drop it in the sink accidentally and all the ports are sealed, it's waterproof, but unbelievably light. I've let a couple people hold it before we actually turned it on and everyone was like, this must not have the battery or something else must be wrong with it. There's no reason. It does have the camera ready for you on the back side. It has a camera in the front as well. We'll take close-up looks at those as we go and we'll do the setup. So let's walk through the actual close-up stuff and then we'll talk more about it at the end and what we think. So you may be asking yourself, it looks a little bit strange as we're sitting here. What's wrong? Well, it's actually an iPad sitting on the top to let you know. So it actually is a bit uh, taller than an iPad on there and a little bit thinner. So the iPad is there for comparison size with a case. This is the 16 gig model. There's also the 32 gig model. You can get expandable SD cards inside of these micro SD, so that's great. It's a quad processor internal, so basically a Snapdragon processor is inside. Uh, from there, Android Jelly Bean. Uh, comes loaded on top of it. It still has the plastic cover on for the glare. We want to make sure we left that on temporarily just so we could see uh, the ports themselves. It has ports along the bottom. The way it does it though, it seals them up so tight, you really can't even tell that some of them are there, which I really liked along the edges. Volume controls on the side, little bitty power button. And as I told you, the only thing that I did was actually uh, charge this the other day. So the power button's right here on the side, as we showed earlier, we powered it up. This is what you get on the welcome screen. Uh, this has been sitting for a few days. It's not been doing anything. It's at 92% battery life. I've had it charged now for a couple days uh, without doing any type of activity at all. It has an icon on the front for music there and there is a camera icon that's ready to go on the side for you as well. Now on the screen itself, swipe up or down to unlock. So we've never done this. this is the actual first time launch. I told you the only difference is the little plastic cover still on. So we'll swipe up and welcome to setup. Uh, the English United States is already selected. We'll say done. Select your region, the US is already selected. We'll say done. And it's gonna do a restart and set all the regional things that you want. On the bottom left, there's actually a home button, there's a back button, uh, a multi-tab. It's what you'd expect on an Android device. So the restart time right there, I know I did a cut, was probably no more than 10 seconds. Now, congratulations on your tablet. Set up your personalized preferences. Yes, I understand all the information that they always give you. I'll check the box. Step one of six, we can always change date and time. That's no big deal. Wi-Fi connection. You can have it search for networks, or you can go on and try to set it up manually. We'll go ahead and have it scan. So I had it connect to the network. I already set it up. I just skipped a step for the internal stuff. So we have it connect to the network. Sony Entertainment Network. So you can discover all their movies and what other parts they have. You can get started or you can skip this step for now. Uh, other accounts you want to include, Google, Facebook, Twitter, and we're ready to go. So if you actually just skip through the steps really quick, it should jump in really fast. As you can see, we have the Google integration in the top with the microphone. You can actually get to the Walkman. <laughs> Funny from Sony, right, to see a Walkman icon that's on there. Uh, album and music, movies, Sony Select, of course, the Google Play Store to load all our applications. And then the upper one blinking up there is apps. There's all the apps that come preloaded, so we've done nothing to this. You can actually change the theme, you can change the wallpapers, you can treat it like any of your other phone devices that you have. It's pretty powerful. So what I did is I turned on the camera, so you're looking at the green screen that's actually behind it using the camera. You use the zooming features, use the volume controls when you're in camera mode. So the camera's there, it's eight megapixels. You have some controls there as well as video controls. 
Uh, you should be able to scan the rest of it in your network and others and find your own movies, load them up how you want to. Uh, you can hit the tabs to see all the apps you have open. So this will show you as your apps are actually open uh, over here on the side. So if you want to navigate between them, you can do that as well. You have multiple panes that you can do. You can put widgets, you can put everything else on top of here that you need to. So we're still in the video section. Another capability is up in the corner here. You have the ability to go in and say, oh, here's the tablet, add another device, add a media room. So you have the ability to add a media room that's in there. You could actually also add another device. And it's gonna say, is it Bluetooth? Is it a screen mirror? Is it part of your local network? So you can actually throw things to another DLNA enabled device that's on your network. It's a great advanced feature to have the things advanced working advanced features that we way. talked about when I first brought out is you can use it as a remote control. So down the bottom, you actually have it used as a tablet, but next to it is a little remote. So if I click the remote, we'll get a pop-up in the corner that's saying right now you don't have it set as a remote for any devices. I can actually now go out, it has a ton of built-in codes using its IR to actually use the tablet while I'm sitting anywhere that normally takes remote control. So there's the first parts of it and we'll get back and talk about the overall opinion of what we think. So we looked at a bunch of the setup and now it's days later. I've been using it. I cut a little more of the setup short. I wanna give you my impression so we can keep this on time. What did I like and what didn't I like? The battery life has been pretty impressive. It's actually lasted quite a long time. Uh, the camera does great. Uh, the zooming is fast, meaning as soon as you start actually moving your fingers and you know trying to zoom in and out by pinching, uh, it's fast. So there's not a fine granularity to the zoom. I did notice that. One of the things I didn't like about this, one of the things that I found very confusing was, and I want to cover that first, was there's the Play Store, of course, where we get all our apps from Google. Well, inside of it, there's also a uh, Sony store. So now I've got a Sony app store as well, which has some of the same apps, like Instagram, let's take for example. If I've already installed it via the Play Store, if I go to the Sony store, it shows I haven't installed it yet. That's a confusion for me, so what I try to do is actually hide it and get rid of it. The widgets have performed well the whole time. There's video editing built into the device. I was able to edit a video pretty quick, which was kind of cool. I recorded my own, plus a pre-downloaded one. I was able to slide and edit. It was a little fuzzy because of the pinch and zoom things, but that worked. I've added a bunch of streaming things easily connected this across the Wi-Fi to the uh, window share on the network. I wasn't able to easily do that with any iShiny device. With this one, I was streaming videos in a matter of minutes walking around holding this. What didn't I like again? We'll keep going back and forth. The size. I hate to say it. I, I love the size. We showed it in comparison a few minutes ago to the iPad, but if we could cut off a little bit about this, I can't get it into any slot or the bag. So yeah, you're gonna buy new cases. I knew that coming in but I found that all the cases are pretty much made for things like the iPad. I hate to say it, but cases were a little bit more difficult to find when I'm talking about bags, not actual cases for display or stand. I'm talking about things, uh, normal bags where you put laptops. This is almost like having an 11 or 13 inch MacBook Air laptop. The weight, incredibly. Nice and light, love it. Everyone I handed it to was astounded by how light this thing was. They really liked the weight on this. They thought there was no battery, it wouldn't work. Uh, you can set the timing for the screen. You can turn on the camera from the front screen. That's all a beautiful feature as well. Uh, the ability for, like I said, the videos. The widgets are there because it's an Android device. So you have all the widget capabilities for it to update. Uh, the ability for you to work on the side over here and actually add other widgets to the screen was easy to do. I didn't have any issues. Sharing was easy to do. I could actually go in and click the share button and share things out to other services or across Bluetooth or ones like that. Overall, Performance has been great with the battery, as I said. I've been using it for days and days and days without any degradation, that's huge. I didn't stream video every day, I was just general usage. It's lasted like they said, I didn't disappear. Uh, what else can I tell you about it? I don't know, overall, pretty impressed. Oh, another one. I did try to use the remote control setup because it has built-in IR port on the front and it connects to the remote control. We showed that in the uh, setups. Whew, there's a lot of remotes. One thing it didn't do is let you search by model number of your TV, let's say. Uh, Samsung TV, I was able to go to Samsung, able to go to TVs, but once I got there, there was 72 choices. Each one showed a different remote pattern. I wanted to just type in what type of TV I have and give me the darn remote. No, it wanted either you had to teach it or you had to go through each one and find the one that most represented your remote. That was a killer because some of these things have tons of models. So besides that, that's an application thing. They could update that in a future one. That's just an app. It has nothing to do with the device itself. So as for the device, sturdy, lightweight, like I said, like the power button. Uh, I dunked it once quickly. I was a little nervous about the waterproofing, so uh, it's a quick little sploosh in the water is all I could manage to do. I didn't want to freak out. No damage, nothing at all. I had every port sealed like it said. So I trust that the waterproofing thing that they claim works just as well. So there you have it. Thank you to Sony for sending over the tablet, the Xperia Tablet Z. This is the 16 gig model right here. There's also a 32 gig model. 
And if you enjoy our reviews, please let people know. Go to the Amazon link, click that you actually liked our review and we were helpful. And also subscribe to us on YouTube. We'd love to see you as part of the playlist. And if you have other products you wanna see, let us know. We'll try to get them on the show. Another product review from Spike Studio.